My name is Rumiana Tsenkova. Um, I'm a professor at Kobe University in Japan. Uh, my laboratory is Biomeasurement Technology Laboratory. And at the same time, I'm visiting professor at Keio University Medical School uh, in Tokyo. Um, 2005, we uh, introduced for the first time a new science called aquaphotomics. Um, what we do in my lab, we measure non-invasively living systems and aquifer systems, starting from uh, DNA, cells, plants, animals, trying to understand what is the role of water in those systems. But we started, uh, simply we didn't understand that nothing, anything about water. We just w were doing like engineers. I'm an engineer by background. Um, and we wanted to know, to have more information about these living systems. Because sensor is the, the, the crucial point in an automated system. And uh, as a black box, we, we realized that we can uh, use an infrared spectrum to diagnose disease. And the question was why? And by answering the, this question, we came up and we ended up with water. So and I started working with water. 2005, we announced this aquaphotomics, new science that I, I, I've been talking about aquaphotomics for the last few years at the water conference. Silicon I is uh, in the uh, cell wall, and uh, the interaction between silicon and water is very interesting. We have analyzed aquasystems with par small particles, nanoparticles, microparticles in water. Um, and it's so fascinating how they change the structure of the water. And because silicon is a very good conductor and the water is uh, full of uh, um, charges, there might be something. So we don't know yet, but it is a very good, interesting um, line that, that we are going to explore. The idea of, uh, about aquaphotomics is aquaphotomics means all about water and light. So, um, and the interesting thing is that light can activate water and light, we use light as a probe to extract information out of the water. Um, as a spectral pattern. And the spectral pattern of water in an aqua system or a living system is like a Lego form. Each form has a function and a place. So by looking at this form, we know if we have lots of structured water or we have lots of um, hydrating water. So thanks to, the, to uh, the spectrum and all the systems that I have been through, we realized that the water um, is, has engine and battery and a third part which is, makes the balance and the se self-organizing between these two. And it's fascinating. Uh, now, Easy zone is one of the forms, one of these Lego forms, as I call them, in water. And then I have a f there are many com different combinations of specific water energies. Um, somebody says that Easy zone is H3O2. I doubt that it is only this. Um, we still don't have, and I don't think anybody has an uh, exact idea how, what's the structure of Easy Zone exactly and what is the exact spectral pattern. But um, mm, I think that the spectrum is a, uh, like an onion, 
layer and layer and layer of, of different patterns, which are a, each pattern is a combination of activated energies in water. And by if we know which energy are activated simultaneously, we know what is the source of perturbation. And of course, simultaneously, we always have plural sources of perturbation, like uh, Earth electromagnetic field, like the, the, uh, now we have another electromagnetic field, uh, field around, for example. We have temperature, we have humidity, we have uh, everybody's existence around, etc., etc. So, but this is possible, I mean, it is possible to identify and peel out each of those layers uh, out of the spectrum that we could acquire. And the good news about this beautiful near infrared light that I've been using in my career is that it is half of the sun light and it is um, penetrating deep into our tissues, uh, into water. It does not get absorbed fully as infrared light, the, the, the warm. It gets back and we could analyze it because it gives back the information from the water. So if we are clever enough to see what, what this light speaks to us, so maybe we, we can know a lot. Yeah. And this conference, I think that uh, for the first time I presented uh, for the f uh, an evidence, which is very important. I think it's, it, it's I couldn't believe. Uh, we can measure coherence in water non-invasively and we could diagnose, we could relate coherence to diagnosis and health condition.